Okay, here's another one. Which of the following is proven by science to be an effective study technique? A, taking notes with a laptop, B, studying one thing at a time, or C, doing exactly the opposite of what you think you should do. One of the most interesting things about science is how it constantly reminds us that our intuitions are incorrect. We used to think the Earth was flat. It isn't. We used to think we were the center of the universe. We aren't. We think the way we study is effective. It isn't. If you think about it, learning is probably the one thing we do our entire lives. In school, university, doing work, when we read a book, when we practice a new skill, we're always learning. But the question is, do we really know how to? It was Abraham Lincoln who once said that if you give him six hours to cut down a tree, he will spend the first one sharpening the axe. This means that preparing to do the job is as important as doing the job itself. So that's the objective of this class, for you to learn the art and science of how to learn effectively. The goal is to show you what 200 years of research and neuroscience have taught us about the way our brains function, learn and memorize. It's not a matter of analyzing experiments for the sake of it, it's to see which practical and useful techniques are concealed behind them, waiting to be used. By the time we're done, you'll have the methods and tools to study in the way your brain has evolved to learn. You'll understand what it means to study intelligently, you'll analyze how an evidence-based study protocol looks like, and then you create one for yourself. Imagine that, working side to side with your brain instead of against him. I am Santiago Costa and this is my new class, the science of effective learning.